peace, love, light, unity. You know, it's Sarita here with another episode of Bliss Returned. And um, today, number one, the lighting is going in and out, so it's going to be quite fun. But I'm feeling pretty energized. And um, this is what came through today. You know, a lot of healers you all have experienced this I'm sure you have but um and other people have as well you have questions that you want answered you're trying to get to the next step you want to thrive you want to make it happen and be successful and it's just not happening in the way that you want it to happen right doesn't mean it's not gonna happen at all but you're like well what, what do I do so you seek something outside of you to give you the answers and the insight of that which you don't think that you have right now and so some of you have run into what some of us call uh, false healers um, false um, teachers even you know people that have evil intentions bad intentions they have they don't have your best interests at heart at all and some of you already know what I'm talking about so what do you, you know, if you're trying to look, if you're looking for an answer, and so how do you avoid these things? Well, first of all, the first thing is a lot of you are learning to trust your intuition. You're learning to do that. And because some of you are learning to trust your intuition, you've already ran into these false um, prophets, false sages, false whatevers. Um, and so, you're learning that you have it. You have what it is that you seek in you. And there's different levels and stages to that because you're still becoming and, and coming forth and all of that wonderful stuff and blossoming and blooming on a daily basis. But um, looking outside yourself for someone who has all the answers to the things that you're dealing with can be very... Um, you you experience some things that you might not want to experience with that because it's gonna some of the times it's gonna teach you a lesson that is so it can seem very harsh because it wants to zap you so hard that you're like dang you know I didn't like that well let me go back to the drawing board and then that's where you find your answer right with you so some of these false prophets sages um, metaphysicians what else um, that they priests Oh, uh, so people have a lot of titles. There's a lot of titles in the world on this planet that we know, this planet. And um, so people will call themselves whatever resonates with them. Now, that doesn't mean that they're that this lifetime. They may be talking about something that they were in previous lifetimes. It's important to know that um, the, em the energy that you feel emanating from someone, like in the deepest part of you, is you know a lot of times what that is sometimes it is you that you're seeing and feeling but it's uh, um, you know the way to know is to be around the person to be around this uh, person who claims to have um, this knowledge this know-how this expertise um, this special skill these talents and um, this ex you know I think I said experience so what happens is over time things are going to crack. They'll um, they'll start revealing what they are. There is no way to hide anything for long, and the truth will certainly come out. So, and there's different aspects of a um, of each of us. So, as you are around different people, you'll see the different aspects of them come out, and they'll begin to reveal themselves. So, make no mistake about it. You can trust and know that what you feel in your in your heart and within um, where that inner voice is speaking to you your higher self whatever you want to say um, God the universe the ancestors it's gonna speak to you and it'll let you know if people are about the things that they talk about you know and chances are if a person is coming out with a message that is um, not genuine then that message will it'll be felt you know but you're not gonna feel it in the same way that you feel someone who really resonates with where you are in your life you know um, so the false teachers well for one thing false teachers or I'll say the ones that are in it come to me come to me I will 
grant your every wish if you come to me, dear. If you come to me, I will grant your every wish. See, what you don't know is I can make you two billion dollars to drain your energy, you know. So if they're draining energy and they're not bringing life, then you may want to call that, you may call it a, a the polarity of positive and negative, right? So some of you may not see it as a positive or negative thing. Some people find it necessary to drain. Well, light beings, the ones that are on the light side, we tend to say, or I'll say, the, the, the side that is for life, the life side. Um, draining energy is counterproductive because the... If you give me $100, no, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. No, you have to give me $2,000 for this initiation. And then I'm going to be able to turn that with the help of the ancestor into... The all that is, is us anyway. So... There's, you know, it's it's really uh, like five million dollars if you give me the money. Don't ask any questions, child. No, don't ask no question. I will take care of everything. <sighs> A person who doesn't know who they are, and there are many of us that are still learning it. I thought I told you I had a magic crystal here and I will be able to turn you into a millionaire if you will allow me to do it. Don't ask any questions, child. Just be quiet. No questions are necessary for you. You know, you feel the need to take from someone else what you already have. You just haven't put your finger on that thing yet, you know. But learning who you are has to do with, um, can do it through meditation type of work. This is the spiritual work of the gods. And you have come at the right time to make the right impression. But we need your money. So before we can move forward, we need $5,000 for tation. You can do it. It's initiation. And you will just do it for one day. And then the next day you will have all the money that you seek, child. No worries. Hmm? Talk to my crystal. Talk to my crystal now. All right, I'm back. This is um, another part of it. So what it is with these false teachers is that they are going to make it seem like they have something that is of urgency that you must get and take advantage of right now. And you will find that that simply isn't true, but you will not have a lot of you won't have the know-how to know that that is certainly not the case um, when you're approached with something like that. And so what you must do is trust your instincts and, and your intuition with that. Because um, what you get if you mix it up with the wrong teacher is they will have you doing initiations that have to do with draining your power, draining and siphoning off of your energy because they know that because of the things that they're doing, they aren't going to get back and return anything really positive because all they're doing is negative. So they have to drain your positive. And, um, but if they were doing things that were in harmony with life, naturally they would get back more life. But because they are doing things that are outside of the laws of nature, then they are subject to the same polarity that they're putting out. So negative, they're going to get negative, which is going to be taking away um, a lot of obstructions and different things like that. And so to get things moving in their life past the obstructions, and don't get me wrong, we all get obstructions and challenges, stuff like that. But theirs will look a little different than yours because of law of attraction, cause and effect. What you put out, you do get back. And so these false teachers, they'll have you doing a bunch of busy work, a bunch of jumping through hoops, unnecessary things. And you'll be wondering, what am I actually learning from this? Meanwhile, you're steadily putting out money without having any, you know, there's no results in it. And um, what you will get um, 
you'll certainly feel a lot of uncertainty about what you're doing because your inner voice and inner guidance will be speaking to you, letting you know that there's something that's not right about this, and you'll have a sense of that. You will even get a lot of harshness. You'll be talked down to. You can experience things like um, person cursing you out. You'll see them go through fits of rage and anger. Um, it's letting you know what their nature and the nature of their character is by the way that they're presenting and acting out. Because um, if you are looking for a teacher who has, is ascending and they're leaning towards more of the light, you know, the light side of things, life, then that teacher has been practicing learning to control their lower and they are rising. And um, because of that, you'll see improvements in this person on a regular basis. You know, they're not going to be stagnant with their growth. If they are, then they got to do a lot. You know, we, we all have work to do, so no judgment. But the teacher is going to be growing if they are of life. If they are of supporting life, then they're going to be giving. If you get energy work from a teacher that is a light being or someone who is ascending or someone who's leaning towards the life side of things, they are energizing life. They're going to be giving you energy. When you're on the table getting energy work done or sitting in a chair, after the session is over, you will feel energized. If it is someone who is doing the negative stuff or the other side of that, then you will feel drained. Um, now, don't I don't want to get drained mixed up with feeling, um, what is it, um, some of you will feel kind of relaxed, very relaxed. Now, that is not drain, but some of you will feel, literally, you'll feel like the life is being sucked out of you because it is. They're doing the vampire stuff on you. And... Um, but before even all that happens, you can see it in the person. People of the light, of the life, of the living, they wear colors, number one. Um, now black, there's nothing wrong with the color black because it does encompass all the colors, but a person that wears all of black, person that is covering themselves up, person that is um, looking like, uh, like they're wearing sunglasses all the time um, when they're coming to do work, with you whatever there are people that are trying to hide out they don't want to be seen for what they really are so that may take it may come in different ways but you will not really catch them wearing um, a lot of you know it's gonna be you, you'll you'll know it when you see it when you experience it um, and I can only give an example of someone like me like I love like the color black I used to polish my nails black when I was in school and I would do my um, I had red, um, black lipstick sometimes I wore when I was school in school when I was younger but in school I didn't have the highest self-esteem when I was young because I felt all this power and um, but I didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing and I felt out of place so I wanted to hide I didn't want to be um, I didn't want to be made out but my you know I didn't have any evil intentions at all I didn't have any of that but the color black did resonate with me because I knew colors would bring attention to me and so life light beings ones who are coming to to heal and to help uplift others they wear colors because they want people naturally that is going to draw people to them because they need to for people to see who they are and recognize them so they'll look very um, cheery right and um, and very unique eccentric things like that and um, you still even beyond that you'll be able to feel their nature when you're around them the things that they tell you they will coincide with what they said the last time there won't be a bunch of up and down you can actually ask them questions and they're going to answer them there might be some things that are completely irrelevant that or you're not ready for yet or that they have gotten message not to go over in detail but there will they can answer things for you someone who is not of the light they're going to be telling you things like um, don't worry about that um, they'll even argue with you for asking them a question you know again showing you what their nature is um, some of you have gotten initiated and have gotten some initiations and with people who were of uh, a different character than you are and you've learned some great lessons through it so it's nothing to um, feel bad about
So some of the teachers, they have told you, you were going to, uh, I'm going to have you make this amount of money. They're going to give you definite numbers that they, they're going to have come to you. And thus, one of the ways that you can tell that they are doing some, some negative stuff is because of that um, excess leaning over to the material side of things. Because beings of the light know that they are unlimited and that no matter what, they are always leaning and getting what they're supposed to get. And if they're not, then all they have to do is to focus on feeling good, feeling positive, and um, serve, being a, of service to others and sharing and, um, and really just anim, um, emanating a positive energy. And they are on the path they're supposed to be on, no matter what which way it's going, you know, even if it looks like they have lack, the resources are there. You keep leaning towards that. So um, there's a whole lot more to this negative energy because there are people, there are beings, there are people who are literally plant implanting things in your head, thoughts, negative thoughts, negative um, things to keep you like a lot of fog, you know, static to keep you from seeing who you are. And um, I don't care who you are on the planet, you know, you, some of you all have definitely experienced um, the, the fog of um, just, you have a sense, you have a feel of what you really are, but then there's something that seems to be blocking and obstructing it from you being able to fully take it to the next level. And what that is, is it could be things that from the outside don't want you to see and feel who you are. Of course, we got all these different towers and, you know, the food and all this stuff. But I'm going to do a video on those things as well. Because even though those things look as though they are so, you know, intimidating and they're in the way and all this stuff, they really can only do um, what you allow them to, to do to you. And by that I mean it is your thoughts and your attention that you pay to those things that will give them their power um, over you or not. So here's the lighting, it's acting up. There's an overcast here today. Of course, like I said, um, obstructions will come and um, you're gonna keep, you know, keep it moving anyway, keep moving forward. Um, some of you have had your, your initiations with these people who were, so to speak, evil or whatever, and you felt it, but you know you had to get through your into it, your, um, your initiations because number one, you probably paid some money, some huge money, and you couldn't get your money back because they were using your money to fund uh, their personal projects, you know, traveling or whatever they were doing that didn't include doing the spiritual work that they told you they were going to do. Um, instead of the spiritual work they were told you they were going to do, they're using it to siphon off um, your resources. <laughs> and um, so <sighs> things that you can ex um, you can do to guard yourself away from these things is there are certain stones that will ground you. And it's not so much that the stone is protecting you as it is grounding you in order for you to protect yourself you're protected you have a, your your for, your natural force field and shield up against things that are outside of that which is your nature and so um you want an, a gemstone that is a wonderful one to have um well amethyst is great but definitely crystal um there is another stone that is called um i don't think i have it over here which is this one you know, Argonite looks like this. Let me raise it up for you so you can see it. And um, Argonite is a good stone for being able to get messages and to hear them really clearly. Um, in a very calm, chill type of way. Labradorite is a really good stone for um, you know, intuition, psychic ability, and things like that. And uh, some of you are working on developing your psychic abilities. I'll give you a hint. Psychic ability has a lot to do with channeling as well. Mediumship is on the other side of that. Um, but you just got to get out of your own way to be able to let it happen. 
and um, whatever your intention is your in your heart the, the vibration you carry the strongest those are the type of people that you'll be channeling so be mindful of that because the darkness isn't going to come through if you are on the bliss movement you know what I'm saying it's just that's not how they roll um, but they will come and try to take some of it on the outside though and you have to give consent to these entities for them to come and invade your space so when you see people talking about I have you know these um, this has gotten into me and I feel this kind of way or that way then in some point you said yes to it by energizing the energies leaning in the direction of the um, negative energies and you entertain them you gave them energy you gave them some of your light and then that's how they were able to come in and so in order for you not to have to deal with that focus on Again, this is the same stuff that Abraham Hicks talks about, the same stuff that um, so many, so many, so many, so many teachers talk about. And it's leaning in the direction of that which you want to see more of in your life. Because if you are, for instance, you know, I'm, I have a pencil here and I love pencils. I love to write with the pencil, right? And draw with pencils. But I'm talking about, you know what, I don't like pencils. No, I, I don't like pens. I would prefer to have a pen. I, I don't want a pen, you know, um, but if I want pencils, then I focus on pencils and then I go get pencils. If I don't want pens, then I don't get pens and I don't pick them up. I don't look at them. I don't stare at them. If I focus on pens, I'm going to find people giving me pens as gifts. Pens will come out of nowhere. I'll find an abundance of pens because what a lot of us forget is that we are the deliberate. We are creators. And, um, being that we are creators, we have the ability to attract that thing of the, or those things that we want more of or we want. So whatever you want, focus on only that. If you don't want to see the negative energies, stop giving your life, your energy, and your focus to them. And they won't be able to come in. If they're already in there, then there's ways to get them out of your space. They may threaten you because that's one of the things they do. They use a lot of fear then it's very easy to shake them. It's called just snatch your energy back very calmly. And some of you are on the bliss movement, but sometimes you're going to have to get fiery with them and let them know that you are that you are protected and that you walk with your ancestors. And that is something that will make them sit their behinds down somewhere. So um, I've been on ex some of these experiences myself. And even when I was in the midst of the stuff that this person was trying to so-called do and it was not real real work um, my ancestors about 20 of them they were there with me they were walking with me and I had my protection and it's because I knew it so I could have died you know I it was a serious initiation that I was going through but on me it was a it was like dual-sided part of it I needed it was a you know a shaking up and a, a wake-up call and then the other side of it was where the person was trying to draw and pull from me. And even though they got some money, you know, um, yeah, and I, oh my God, I, I got the, um, the story. Sisters calling me were telling me about how this person has, you know, um, cursed them out, has threatened them. And they've gotten physical with them before and called them out of their names and all this type of stuff. These people are very weak. They're very weak. That's why they feel the need to put their energy into such things. So if you know that you have love and you have love to give in the world, then start to do that. And you don't have to lean. lean. If you find someone online or someone in person that really resonates with you, find someone that's going to help you to be empowered by yourself. Um, it's nothing wrong with having a life coach, a um, consultant, a guide, or something like that, a sister or brother that helps to walk with you, but you know who that person is when you see it. They won't have to talk themselves up a whole lot, and they their life seems to just take shape almost just carelessly, you know, carelessly or very easily, so um, they're not pressed, you know, and um, so they're not going to be trying to talk you into you know, giving all your money to them. And um, 
But anyway, some of you will still go through this because some of us learn the hard way. And um, I know that story very well, too. So, but once you've gone through um, or seen this for yourself, then you'll know what it is. Um, some of these people are in your family. Some of them are your, some of them have been your associates, friends, business people, whatever, and they've come to teach you a lesson. doesn't mean you have to keep hanging out with them and going through the stuff with them or whatever. Get the lesson, move on. But before that, even if you don't even want to have to go through the lesson, trust your instincts. And um, those teachers, like I'm going to plug myself, who do, do, we really do care. And we've been there. And um, it's important for you to trust um, somebody. And um, even if you're just watching their videos on YouTube and supporting them in some kind of way in that way, um, meanwhile, that is enough for you. You're going to get something because by osmosis, because of the things you focus on, you're going to get those things more so in your life. So as you reach for answers to the questions that you have, then the answers will come in the ways that you need to get them in. So trust that. And before I go, I'm going to show you some of the new jewelry that I am making. Um, you know that's been coming through that I'll be offering. And um, there are some meditations that are going to come as well. Uh, I'm going to take this off. So some of the meditation things that are going to come that you'll see, there will be one on self-empowerment and then um, some for healing. You'll see some for, um, what is it? What's the other stuff? Yeah, to help you to um, do your channeling and things like that. So this is one of the pieces here. This is, you know, it on the front. And you can't really maybe see it that well because the lighting in here is going in and out. So, um, but yeah, these are, are for a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not even going to tell you what it is right now. But um, there will be a meditation, there will be an amulet that goes with that meditation that will help you to open up to um, either there's some deep healing stuff, things from your past life um, and personal awareness, you know, to be able to, to really manifest and open up to your talents and stuff like that. And um, the other one is this one. So, where's the front of it? This is the front of it right here. And both of these have crystals on the inside. You know, really nice sized crystals. But they're not heavy. You know, they're sturdy. This is the back. And that is the front. So, they are unisex. And um, I had this one out today charging it in the sun. But, you know, it's, it's time to take this stuff to the next level. The other thing that I have some of is the collars, the neck collars, the cuffs, whatever you want to call them. And um, they pretty much sit on your shoulders and your neck. I'm not going to put it on right now because I have on enough jewelry as it is. Um, but this is the very front of it. And I think you saw this ring already. This is the interlude of the jewelry. So, this is that ring. And I'll put these things up. Probably I'll put them up on Etsy because I, I do have an Etsy on there. And that Etsy is under Bliss Returned. Uh, but on the page it says Indigenous Elements. And um, all the jewelry that I do make is all channeled stuff. Like, I, I don't have any plans as to what I'm going to be making, it just comes through. This is one that I made, um, I don't remember when I made it, but it wasn't that long ago, you know. And so one day, esoteric jewelry classes are going to come as well because these things really do, um, they really work well. And I've sold hundreds of them. So uh, the last part is um, you can follow me on Twitter on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I think that's like all the places. One of these days I'm gonna do a, um, a beauty channel like showing the makeup and the hair stuff. I know you all saw my blue hair in the front. It was aquamarine in the front. 
even though this is really scratchy but so yeah um it's important right now for you all as healers and even anyone just learn to enter to exercise your freedom that's like so pivotal right now and you'll find that this time that we're in even though it seems like it can be very stressful or whatever it's not going to be that stressful for you because you don't have to it's all in how you perceive things okay so yeah back to the meditations there's going to be yeah personal develop personal empowerment good health and inner realization awakening those are the ones right there that are um i'm uploading them now and um yeah it's gonna be really good because i really you know i gotta work with you all with some of you all to um, get to the next level because you know you've got it and um you're you're getting close we're all getting closer and closer so we we gotta raise some more people up as the time goes on so we can you know um get as much done as we want so beyond that i will talk to you soon and thank you so much for listening and you know just continue being a good example you know that's all you can do just keep it real and um lean towards the things that you want to see more of in the world and you can't get it wrong you just really can't and um so you know just 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 release it just release it release it release it let it go and um until then the next one i'll do i'll let you know about some gemstones that are really 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 good and um i think that should do it for right now all right thank you and check out www.blissreturned.com please subscribe please share and please like my video so i'll know which ones you all are really feeling or not and um i think that should do it for right now all right peace love light and um that's it peace